Hello YouTubers, I'm Parways and this is the first video on PyQt char. So particularly in this video I want to show you that how you can create this uh, nice bar chart using a uh, PyQt chart. So you can see we have uh, we are going to do this uh, example. So first of all what is a PyQt chart? Now it's a set of Python bindings for a Qt company uh, and Qt chart library. So the bindings are uh, set on top of uh, PyQt5 and uh, are implemented as a single module. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, install PyQt chart. So if you want to use, uh, you can simply use pip uh, install uh, PyQt chart, hit enter. So I've already installed and the requirement already satisfied. And uh, you can use this way and install. If you face any problem, you can just give uh, in the installation. Uh, you can just uh, mm, comment your problem, and uh, I will solve that. So now uh, the first thing we need, I have created a new Python file in PyCharm IDE, and now I'm going to first uh, import my uh, library classes. So from pyqt5. Qt widgets I'm going to import Q application and also Q main window so and after this we need to import uh, sys because we will uh, use that so import sys and also we are going to uh, use our Qt chart uh, modules so let me import from pyqt chart uh, from pyqt5 dot qt uh, chart I'm going to import q chart also I need to import q chart view and uh, we need q bar set so these two are uh, when we create charts for example we will create a bar chart in this example in the next video we will create for example uh, line chart so these two are requirement for all of chart that we are going to create so this bar set is now this is the bar set this is means that the bar chart and also we need to use a Q percent uh, bar series and uh, at the end also we need to import a Q bar category access so Q bar category access now after this also I'm going to because I want to uh, give a, a animation so also I'm going to use from Qt GUI import Q painter so Q painter like this and from PyQt5 dot Qt core I'm going to import Qt so now we are going to first create our class window that inherits from or extends from our Q main window and now after this we need to create our constructor like this and we need to create our super method in here super super dot in it like this okay now uh, because we are uh, extending from Q main window now I am going to use self you can simply use self and you can access to the methods like for example window title you can give let me just give it uh, by QT bar chart <coughs> and you can set the geometry so self set geometry not graphic so geometry and for the geometry I'm going to give 100 and 100 680 and also 500 and uh, uh, then you need to just do cell dot show okay now after this we are going to uh, uh, first let me just create my window you can watch my complete series on PyQt5 so let, I don't want to explain all of these so I'm going to create a Q application object and I want to pass ses dot argument V in here so we have used the sys argument v because the sys argument argument uh, the sys dot arg v is a pa parameter is a list of arguments from a common line. Now, uh, Python scripts can be run from the shell, and uh, uh, it's a way how we can control the startup of our script. And uh, after this, we are going to create a, 
the object of our window class so window window and now we can uh, at the end because uh, finally at the end we uh, need to enter our the, uh, to the main loop of the application now you can simply use sys dot exit and app dot execute so app dot execute okay now uh, this was our first our window if we run this we are receiving just a simple window like this okay now after this uh, we are going to create a method in here let me just call it diff create diff create uh, for example whatever you want let me call it bar <coughs> okay now uh, the bar set class uh, so first let me just uh, create so I'm going to create set 0 and Q bar set and uh, in here you need to specify uh, uh, for example let me give some names so this the bar set uh, class represents a set of bars in the bar chart and it groups several bars into a bar set now let me just copy this and create uh, some more so this is the first one and you can give uh, what name you want and this is uh, the second one let me just give it oh, the another one is this is uh, set uh, 3 and we can give it for example uh, let me just add one more and it will be good okay so after creating these now we need to create our set so let me just uh, copy the set okay guys now these are the set of values that we are going to use so and after this now uh, we have created our data now we need to create a, a percent bar series so series Q percent bar series <clears throat> now we need to append our these a set to the uh, the series so you can simply use series dot append and you can append set uh, 0 like this and you can do this for all of uh, them for example uh, set 1 and uh, set 2 this is set 3 and this is set 4 <coughs> okay now after this doing this uh, this was for our bar chart now I have said uh, when you want to uh, plot uh, a bar chart or a line chart in PyQt chart you must have a chart and also you must have a chart view now you need to add your this series in the chart and after that you need to add your chart to the chart view now let me show you what I mean first let me create a chart object Q chart and uh, now uh, I can add the series to the chart so dot add series also for this I, I, I will uh, I want to need some access uh, but for other you if you want you can you do if you don't want uh, you can leave it so now chart now I have added the series now I want to set the title for my this chart and I can give it for example percent bar chart example and uh, also we are going to <coughs> create an am animation for this so set animation uh, <coughs> uh, animation option and we are going to use qchart dot series animations now we need to create some access first I'm going to create a categories so categories and this is a list of some uh, months for example January uh, February <coughs> and March we have uh, April and uh, May and also for example June <coughs> now
Now, after creation of uh, categories, now we need to create our access. So, access, Q bar category access. And now we need to append our this access. Uh, we need to append this category to our access. So, append, and we are going to add categories in here. And now we need to create the default access for our chart. So, create default access. And also, we are going to char dot set uh, access x to the access, and also we are going to add our series in here. Okay, now after this, we are going to create chart view. So, chart view, and uh, let me create the object of Q chart view, and we are going to add our chart in here. And also you can set a render hint so set <coughs> uh, set render hint and I'm using qpinter dot anti aliasing and at the end you need to sell you need to set this chart view as a central widget of your main window so self dot set central widget and we are going to add a chart view in here like this so I will add this source code to the video description don't worry and now I need to call my this cell dot create bar in here so let me just okay now let me just run this So set render hint. I have a problem in here. Q chart object set render hint. I have a problem in the set render hint. Okay, guys. So it's not chart. It's chart view. Uh, so by this reason, I have received this error. Let me run it again. Okay. So now you can see we have uh, our. Uh, uh, percent bar chart example we have this title and these are the accesses and these are the data and these are the charts bar charts so like this you can create also you can add legends if you want so let me just show you adding of legend and uh, in here uh, I'm going to add legend for my chart so chart dot legend dot set visible and make it true it's a boolean value and also you can use chart dot legend dot set alignment dot set alignment and uh, you can give this to qt dot alignment bottom so alignment bottom now let me just run this and uh, now we are good to go so okay uh, so um, I'm not seeing any legend in here let me just uh, check this Okay, guys. Now, uh, now you can see we have uh, some uh, legends in here. So, like this, you can create a bar chart, and I will add a source code to the video description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the. Video.